today we're checking out this 1962 Chevy Impala. Holy shit, dude, this thing stays so tight, too. <laughs> this one he thought I couldn't get it out of control. <laughs> I don't know if I've been in a car with this much horsepower that handles so nice. No, this Holy smoke! This is something special right here, guys. Pal is a largely original car. A one repaint. Great sound and dual exhaust. But as I mentioned, very original. Interior appears to be all original. Um, some of the trim, bright work, stuff like that um, appears to be original as well. But just well kept, great looking car. What I'd classify as a nice driver quality cruise night car, but a hard to find 1962 Chevy Impala. 283 two barrel under the hood power steering power brakes some great options to have in a car like this um, but as you see under the hoods very original there as well firewall paint looks like that's never been resprayed uh, still looks original paint on the engine you can tell you know it's older as well so it's just kind of a survivor car and a rare hard to find impala paint on the inner fenders anytime you have a white car same thing with my white you know modern day pickup anytime you have that white and it chips or even you know, gets anything on there, sometimes it'll turn yellow. A lot of times some steel wool can, can take some of that off. Uh, but again, older repaint, very presentable, but it's not a trailer queen. Little chip there in the hood. But this Impala is very straight up and down the sides, good gaps. So look at the front bumper, that looks like that could be original too. Still has a great shine, but if you look real close, you can just see some of the, um, original patina on there same thing with the the grill and a great color combination I love the white with the red interior um, the right or the red um, body molding door fits excellent to the fender and the side molding too just some a minor patina in that chip there on the edge of the hood but look how that hood fits you know fits very flush to the um, fender there windshield looks good bottom corner of the door on the outside looks great no bubbles there rocker looks good little chip that's been touched up um, here and there door fits fits excellent door rubbers are nice and pliable and again guys this orange that you're seeing it's not rust it's just anytime you have that white and it's exposed to to weather or, or oxygen over time it kind of gets that little yellow rail dust is what I call that corner of the doors are very solid both sides door panels look great it almost looks like the door panels have been um, been replaced they just look too nice but the seats in my opinion are definitely original you can just see some minor wear on them but um, for original seats they're really in in nice shape cords look good seat backs are nice back seat and back package tray are nice as well dome light works now the headliner is original, and it's in you know good shape, except for right up here you do have a seam split that the previous owner had put some kind of bobby pins to keep that together. I mean, if a guy wanted to take it to an upholstery shop and have that re-sewed, it'd look a little bit better. Um, but this one we're just trying to keep at a nice, nice price for, for a guy that's looking for a rare pallet they can jump in and enjoy, take to some local car shows, have some fun with, and not have to you know, pay fifty, sixty thousand dollars, like uh, a lot of these Impals are going for anymore today. It's got the rally wheels, and those look new. Uh, beauty rings look good. It's got some um, raised white letter tires with great tread. Rear tire size is 20, 225 70 15s. Up over the wheel well looks great. You have a small rock chip back here. 
but if you look up and down the sides, I mean, just very, very straight. I mean, this car could be could be painted black and still be just as straight. Love the back tail lights and bumper on these Impalas. And the rear bumper and trim look like they could be original. Just some little kind of pitting in this trim, but the bumper, besides a few little kind of solvent pop and wearing that, that looks great and has a good shine. Trunk lid lines up good. And on our website, coyoteclassics.com, we do have uh, photos of the trunk as well as um, undercarriage pictures and, and all that. Over top of the roof looks great. Back glass is nice. And here, no one filled this in with, with filler. You can still have, see that seam there on both sides. Small chip there. Driver's side, just as straight as the passenger side. You have a couple bubbles right here on this um, driver's side rear quarter. And a couple small little bubbles on that corner of the door. But if you look at the inside, it all looks good on the inside. Door jam paint looks same as the other side. There's your VIN number. Top of the dash looks great. Original steering wheel. Uh, don't see any cracks in it, but just you know some wear from being driven. Carpet looks good. Could be you know older or original carpet, but it still still looks good. Driver's seat, you do have a small little wear spot right there at the corner. But um, the rest of it looks good, and for being original, it's impressive. As I mentioned, great gaps. We're going to hop in this thing and take it for a spin, see how it goes down the road, see how that little 283 runs out. Um, so far, I'm liking this Impala. So let's get behind the wheel, turn the key, fires right up, idles nice. Horn is not working right now. Does still have the original AM radio, which works. That's very impressive. Kind of tells you a lot about the car, um, whatever stuff like that works. Down here, you do have an aftermarket oil pressure and temp gauge. Carries good oil pressure. It jumps right up to about 50 pounds. At an idle, you are at 35, 40 pounds oil pressure. Again, really nice to have uh, power steering in a car this size. This little 283 two barrel, but it's Runs great, steering's nice and tight so far. Here's your brakes, perfectly straight, no hands on the wheel, no pull left or right. Um, really nice brake pedal. Don't see a whole lot of the 62 uh, Impala. It seems like lately we've had Couple 63s and uh, 64s, but it seems like the, the 61s and 2s are a lot harder to find. Speedometer works good. Check our brakes one more time. Again, really nice brakes. The power steering works awesome as well. day night mirror that stays nice and tight and again the paint on the dash is, is done very nicely in the 
the exhaust. It's not some loud, tacky exhaust. It sounds sounds good. You can hear you know that kind of muscle car sound, but it's not uh, not annoying in the cab at all, and uh, it's not going to piss your neighbors off. But just a nice nice crisp sound. But good and pal, if you're interested in looking for one, check it out on our website coyoteclassics.com or give us a call at 641-816-3145. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.